this is a snapshot of what your resume should look like. You're creating your own words, so you're not actually you're you're not going to actually copy this, but I'm showing you this as an example of what a up-to-date resume should look like. So in the header, you want to put the resume of and your full name and actually put in a page number. Your name, this email address actually should not be here. So I'm going to take that away and we're going to put in Instead of having that there, we're going to put in an address. And, th and this is not a real address. So um, I'm going to put here at Gmail. Because this is, could be the address this person has a LinkedIn account as well. It's always good to have a LinkedIn account. You have a professional summary, no objectives, personal work history for the job that you're applying for. Okay, so you're only putting on this resume uh, the experience that you have for the job that you're applying for. So if I'm an illustrator... I'm going to put illustration or graphic designing jobs because it's in the same field. But if I had a babysitting job, I would not put it on this resume. Okay, and then you put your education. Okay, so that is basically how, and I'll just scroll through it slowly so you can see it. I'm not going to give you this document because people have a tendency just to copy and paste and not really understand how to create a new resume and how to set tabs. So on this resume, your tabs have to be set to the right. Okay, so you'll have to learn how to set tabs in order to create a resume like this. Okay, everyone, I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye for now.